hashtag coins for kids, found some cash in the cash. But does anybody know where Yan Hang is? No idea. Well, what a way to start out another adventure. Lyric Lass and I went to check out Louisa Mackenzie Bethune Cemetery as she was building up an adventure lab for the Trans-Canada Highway Adventure Lab series. But I didn't take the camera with me. I just wandered into the cemetery and took a look around, and it was very cool. Just as I was leaving, I was thinking to myself, hmm, there really should be a geocache here. It's a really cool spot. And then, as I was leaving, I looked to my left, and right under a tree, there was a geocache. <laughs> I'm like, there's nothing on the map, I wonder. And I thought, maybe it was brand new, and somebody hadn't published it yet, or it was archived. So I got in contact with one of our local reviewers, and sure enough, this is a geocache that had been archived about a year ago, and hadn't been picked up, because the owner had just moved away. So I'm going to pick it up and take it along with us, and I'm going to repurpose it as a new geocache. And not only is it an archive cache, but it's also a lonely cache. It hasn't been found in over a year. Welcome to Cache Canada. Once again, we're on the Trans-Canada, and we're looking for a cache on a sign. Oh, wait, it's right behind you. Come around. Oh, there it is. Shall I sign us up on this one? Sure. For being Canada's main highway from east to west, and this section right here, it's the only way to go basically from east to west, unless you go way, way, way up north on Highway 11. But it's not busy at all. It's like, there's hardly anybody here. And it's a holiday weekend. Certainly aren't geocaching here. Sign, signs, everywhere a sign. Something, something, let's get a geocache. Oh, I got it over here. All right, let's go. Got it. And uh, hashtag coins for kids, five cents. It all adds up because it makes sense. And I think that our total now is $3.55. Hmm. hmm, I wonder where this one could be. Well, let's check the hint. Oh, the hint says F1023. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's underneath. Oh, got it. <laughs> Before we get back on the road, Let's show them what we're doing okay. under the hood. Check this out. What's that, a new part for the van? We got dinner cooking under the hood. Chicken legs. This has been a great weekend caching, mm -hmm. but there's only one problem. Why, what's missing? Well, there's no mosquitoes and no black flies. That's right, it's amazing, usually this weekend, the black flies are thick as thieves. I don't know what's going on. There's hardly any. It's great. We're going to finish off this episode with a multi-cache. And this one will help us visit Winnie the Pooh. So inside the little container were the coordinates to telling us where to go to find the final. So let's finish up. 
Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Well, we got it. It's right in front of the museum. A Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. And from here, we're going to head north into back country all the way up to Highway 11. We'll see you on the next episode. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you. you? These are some things that you can look for as a geocacher, as little wires like this, because those help hold a geocache in place. Get it all the way back, then all you see is the wire. There you go, happy hunting.